Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What a great pleasure to be in India. And Vipa, thank you very much for starting us off in such a powerful way, leaving no doubt at all why it is we need to create a movement to make the global goals a reality rather today than tomorrow. We are busy. We have less than 5,000 days to make the global goals a reality. To kickstart the process and to make sure that we have great momentum and energy all the time, the UN Global Compact across the world with our 17, our 70 wonderful local networks, uh, more than a year ago, launched the Making Global Goals Local Business Campaign. We are running this throughout the world, and you will hear much more about it in the coming days. And we will make sure that the Global Compact makes a great difference in making sure that we get there on time. I think we all remember the wonderful day in September 2015 when the new 17 goals and the Agenda 2030 was adopted in the UN by all nations in the world. But you know, the world is changing and since then, a few things has happened around the world. People see the world in different ways. So I want to ask you, what do you see up here? Do you see a beautiful young lady? Or do you see an old hag? At the UN Global Compact, we see a world that needs to change according to the global goals. We see a world that has too many gaps, the poverty gap, to mention one example. We see a world that has too much inequality. And we see a world that needs to be much more uniform. So we are very proud to still put forward the reason why Global Compact was created more than 15 years ago, and in the words of Kofi Annan, we want to give globalization a human face. It has never been more relevant today, but the good thing is that we have a lighthouse, we have 17 goals, we know exactly what to do, and there is no plan B. So it's a particular pleasure to be here in India, celebrating our regional meeting. And I can assure you that it's not a coincidence that we are in India. And it's not just because Udesh has so good skills of speaking us all into coming here. No, it's because when we look at India and when India deliver, on the SDGs, we are halfway. So this is the place to be. Tomorrow, we will launch a new report that we have done together with the Business Commission uh, that looks at the SDGs and the, the market opportunities relating to the goals. On a global basis, it's estimated that by 2030, the market opportunities in the world is 12 trillion US dollars in 2030. Looking at India, the estimate is 1 trillion US dollars, including 72 million new workplaces. This is a wonderful way of turning risk into opportunity which is exactly what we all at the UN Global Compact 
feel should be done. We have a positive opportunity in front of us. So, what are we offering at the Compact? Well, you know what we have been doing so far, but there are new things underway. This is basically what you will learn much more about in the program for the next couple of days. We are launching a new blueprint for leadership on the SDGs. We are launching a set of new action platforms to put the SDGs into action. And we are launching the Global Opportunity Explorer that will be the world's largest platform for concrete business solutions to the SDGs, business cases, and you will hear much more about that in the coming uh, days as well. When Kofi Annan launched the SDGs, he used to say that the global goals are the people's goals. Today, my son is a grown-up young man, but he is still my motivation for utilizing this platform to drive the SDGs. I know that every single one of you have your own motivation. And since we are in India, I think we should honor Mr. Gandhi by each of us being the change that we want to see in the world. Nobody will come and fix these goals for us. We have to do it, each of us individually. Thank you.